welcome to the program. Ukraine has been dragged into a hybrid war with Russia for a little over than three years now. The officials in Ukraine's National Security Council think it's time to change the approach to combating the separatist forces in the east of the country. What will the new strategy look like and when will Kyiv start implementing it? We're joined today in the studio by Volodymyr Polevy, deputy head of the Information and Analytical Center of the National Security and Defense Council. Thank you for coming. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Uh, so just yesterday, the Secretary of uh, Ukraine's uh, National Security Council, Alexander Turchinov, announced that Ukraine needs to change the format of the anti-terrorist operation that is currently run uh, in the east of Ukraine, meaning Donbass. What did he mean by that? Uh, it is really impo important uh, to understand uh, what did Turchinov say exactly. Mm -hmm. The first thing he said uh, uh, that uh, we must to stop, uh, we have to stop uh, the anti-terrorist format of our operation on the east. Mm -hmm. And the second thing uh, he said uh, that uh, we have to start uh, another format. And um, uh, another question is uh, why did he say this information exactly in June of uh, 2017? And, uh, so why? Uh, after three years of war that yeah. we had... Uh, why now? Why not earlier? Mm -hmm. I think uh, Ukrainian government is looking for the possibility to uh, uh, continue uh, reforms, to, uh, realize, to realize the Minsk agreement mm -hmm. and um, to uh, organize the election on the Ukraine in uh, uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. According to the Minsk agreement, we have to organize uh, the election uh, on the uh, East uh, Ukraine, including the uh, occupied territories of uh, Donbass, occupied areas of Donbass. Okay. And uh, it's a nonsense, and uh, it, it could be a really a, a real problem problem for our government to organize such uh, an election. And the um, uh, worst thing is uh, uh, that uh, uh, those election elections could be organized by pro-Russian separatists on the east of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. If we compare this situation with the uh, uh, 2014. Uh, if you remember, we uh, have uh, an election on those years during the anti-terrorist operation. Yes, yes, there was an election So, ac so according to the, our legislation, we could organize the uh, election on the occupied, uh, on the territory of the eastern of Ukraine. And mm -hmm. Moscow will say, okay, uh, you have done this, uh, you did this uh, at... Uh, uh, 12, 14. So you should to do. You should to organize uh, the new election in uh, uh, 2014 uh, according to the Minsk Agreement. So the task of our government is uh, to communicate and to prepare the uh, mass opinion and uh, our Western allies that we couldn't uh, support this uh, point of view. Uh, which is, uh, in reality, Moscow opinion, Moscow point of view, mm -hmm. and we couldn't organize uh, the election uh, beside these uh, territories uh, are occupied by pro-Russian separatists. Does that mean that um, Ukraine's National Security Council is advocating for rewriting Minsk Accords? Uh, I think it's not a time to rewrite Minsk agreement, mm -hmm. but they are looking to the possibility to change our legislation in the part of election that first, first of all, uh, not even the uh, election legislation, first of all, that we should uh, uh, recognize in law uh, that those territories are occupied. Mm -hmm. So the second thing that we couldn't organize election on occupied territories. Coming back uh, to the first question of changing the format of defense of Ukraine, uh, perhaps any scenarios that have already appeared and we can get acquainted with? Mm -hmm. uh, 
I think uh, the National Security Council uh, will discuss uh, the, the problem that uh, uh, in official the uh, commander of the anti-terrorist uh, operation is the general of the security service of uh, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, it's only formally, but in fact, uh, the head of the anti-terrorist operation of all these activities of our armed force uh, on the east of Ukraine is uh, uh, the general staff and the general from the general staff of the armed force of Ukraine. So uh, we, uh, we have to change something to, to be correct, to be relevant to the uh, uh, nowadays uh, uh, circumstances. Mm -hmm. What do you think the reaction of Russia, particularly the Kremlin, would be if Ukraine does change the format of the anti-terrorist operation? It's absolutely clear that the Russian uh, reaction on this initiative uh, will be negative. First of all, that uh, they uh, would stress on the tasks that uh, Ukraine violating uh, Ukraine is violating Minsk Agreement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second uh, position, uh, they would stress uh, on the question on th of the restriction uh, of human rights mm -hmm. for the citizens of Ukraine on the eastern of Ukraine, even on the occupied territories. They, they would say they are the similar uh, citizens of Ukraine as uh, the citizens, for example, uh, inhabitants of Kyiv or the western Ukraine, so but they have the right rights. Should we expect more aggression over such a decision or not? Uh, I think uh, it's, it's possible because uh, the basis uh, on which uh, uh, this discussion will take place uh, would be the um, election of the presidents uh, of the Russian president Mm -hmm. in uh, 2018. Yes. Uh, so they need to, to rewrite, redraw the uh, uh, mask, the status of uh, uh, enemy uh, which they create from, the, from Ukraine. Um, uh, they need to have a, a foreign enemy. So Ukraine is uh, the best enemy for, uh, from for the Russia. Russian point of, for, for, for Russia, yes, because uh, we are we weak. Um, uh, uh, and uh, uh, they have been creating uh, such uh, status uh, for, for Ukraine for years. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the, the secretary of the Ukraine's National Security Council also uh, announced that um, the creation of the um, operational headquarters should be uh, also put into real life, uh, meaning that in the east of Ukraine. Why now? Why in the year 2017? Why not at the start of the conflict in 2014? Mm -hmm. um, we have discussed uh, this problem in, in previous uh, questions. Because, the, uh, first of all, because um, formally the head of the anti-terrorist uh, operation is the general from the security service. Mm -hmm. And they want to, uh, to create the head staff of this operation, uh, which uh, would be relevant to the situation. And uh, formally it could be the reason why we need to uh, uh, to establish a uh, new amendment to, to the current legislation uh, in, in the part of the um, uh, definition of aggression, mm -hmm. in the part of definition uh, uh, which territories are occupied and by whom, and uh, in, in the part of the election in such circumstances uh, as we have uh, on the east of Ukraine. Speaking of legislation amendments, uh, if Ukraine does change the format of the anti-terrorist operation, what kind of legislational restrictions will have to be taken down? Is there any? If we are speaking about the martial law mm -hmm. and the restriction of the human rights under this law, first of all, it uh, uh, concerns the question of the uh, right to elect and to be elected. Okay. And um, uh, uh, so I think uh, our government and all Ukraine are not, uh, does not interest in uh, 
uh, in uh, in the election on the occupied territory territories under the Russian control, under the total Russian propaganda, without Ukrainian mass media, without Ukrainian political parties, and uh, with the predicted resu re results. Yes. And um, so we have to change our legis legislation. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully, all of that we, we were talking about happens. That was Volodymyr Polovy, deputy head of the Information and Analytical Center at the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.